But also, right, we were playing football, so can't play football, right? And so we were playing. Was that football. just in the office or? Yeah, just in the oh, office yeah. before you came, right? Before. And um, we were sort of kicking it back and forth. And I started kicking it a bit hard. And uh, but he was quite good. I, I said, I said, this is great, right? And uh, we finished anyway because we thought we'd break some. And um, I went, I bet you were quite good at football, weren't you? And I actually thought, I thought he looked like quite a natural, you know, I thought he'd be good, he's from the north, and I thought he'd, that's all he'd have. Yes, you know I mean? exactly. Right? And he went, I said, uh, I suppose you're quite good at football, and he turned the quickest flash and went, I've scored once. <laughs> right? He said, and that's because I was being chased by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> And I went, oh, save it. Yeah. He went, no, I said, please, please save it, because I want to tell Steve that. No, you can continue now. Please tell us the rest of the story. You've scored a goal once well, you because you've been chased by a bee. Yeah, you've done it now, really. I was on the, uh, There I must be more the, to that story, <laughs> man. I was in the school team. I wasn't that good as a kid at football, to right. be honest. Um, <laughs> mainly down to, I think it's because of my dad. My dad wasn't into football. Right. And I think that's the way it works, isn't it? If your dad's into it, mm. then you could be a footballer when you're older. Sure. Yeah. Because you're into it. And, um... So I was in the school team because I got on with the other lads uh -huh. and they let, they let me in the team. Popular guy, yeah. Sure. And, um, yeah, I was stood there doing nothing because I didn't really know what to do. I, didn't, I never knew which way I was meant to be shooting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, got all that messed up. Yeah, that is and a I just stood there, right, and, uh, with my hands behind my back. <laughs> and, uh, something landed on me, on, like, this part of my thumb. You, got, you can't just point, it's radio. It's this bit here. Right, yeah. Um, the the fleshy bit, the yeah. fleshy bit of the thumb, thumb. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, oh, what's that? <laughs> and I looked down and it was a bee. It was a bee. It was a bee on me. So I start running, yeah. try to get away from it. And bees. Actually, something interesting about bees. More chance of getting stung by a bee in windy weather than any other sort of weather. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm running away. And he said there was no more. Extraordinary. I've already learned many, many things. <laughs> You're being chased by the bees. So windy. I'm running. It's on your thumb. Is it still on your thumb now? It's sort of gripping onto me like a stag clever, beetle. Clever. Clever. <laughs> like a stag beetle. I love his. Oh, or a bee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm running, and I, I, I'm running towards like the goal. Yeah. Oh god! And the ball comes to me. Yes. Wallop, get it in. Brilliant. What happened to the bee? Did it sting you? They die, don't they? <laughs> I mean, ultimately it died. Sure, but did at that particular moment, <laughs> oh, it sting you. This was probably about twenty years ago, so I imagine. No, no, no. Once a bee stings. So you, did that's it sting? It. Yeah, but did it sting you? Down. Yeah. <laughs> right, that was the question. When did it sting you? When I was playing football. No. <laughs> No. Carl, do you want me asking? You say you're on the school football team. Was there just eleven boys at your school? Listen, listen, Carl. Oh, what I mean is, at what point in this story did the bee sting you? Uh, straight away After or half time? <laughs> <laughs> Play a record. Man. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been I hope busy. it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908, and the person saying it's. You know, it's a good story in that, and I'll be surprised they haven't picked up on it yet, right? <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right? Yeah. Um, in 1908, in yeah. London. Yeah. Apparently it was meant to happen in, in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why, right? And it happened in London. Yeah. Anyway, 400 metres, right, it was meant to... Uh, <laughs> there was a fella who was, who was going to do the run, right, and the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy. Right, it right. Was like a new okay, uh, these, these are the few things it cannot be. One, he injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. Uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. Um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm gonna go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this, this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's gonna do it. Gonna is he hairy? Nice little, is this it? bloke hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run. And you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win. Then suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm. Right? Oh, he's eating a banana. <laughs> and oh, there's a fella, there's a fella in the lane next to him. Yeah. Right? He's going up. Who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. Right? Doesn't look familiar. Who's he? Yeah. You know, Weird. Like, oh, what's Weird, going on? It? What's going on? What's yeah. going on? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Or who is it? I mean, I'm not, what is it? So they go in. <laughs> So they say, well, he might not be that any good. Do you know what I mean? He might not be good. He might. It's just a bit short, anyway. Doesn't matter. He's only three foot six and he's hunched over on his knuckles. So, I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So well, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be any good. <laughs> so, so the race starts. Oh, he's putting his finger up his ass. That's weird for runners to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fella that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We had yeah. our money on the favourite. What's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. <laughs> right. Okay. Right? Long arms, long arms. That trophy's higher than. So God. anyway, he's so only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. <laughs> so, so I'm they, suspicious. Go on. They had the they had the picture in the paper the next day, 
Sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but quite hairy for a runner. Oh, for f- I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite hairy for a runner, because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s- make them faster and no. they're going, how did he manage it? It's really hairy and that. So anyway, he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli- Olympic committee, look further into it, turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. Right. No, don't keep talking. Shut, Shut up. up. Shut up. This is monkey news. If you can't handle the news- It's news from 1909 <laughs> and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. Right, be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right. Now Don't the thing is- Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic Committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of, like- No, oh, shut up! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing, <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. Don't talk shit! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to Athens? What is- it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? it, right. I do not believe it. Oh dear, well that's why I'd buy a plasma screen to watch, um, to watch Bargain, Bargain Hunt. Hunt. I mean, it's good because this is the problem, is because you, yeah, what do you I watch? Mean, have you watched anything that's been worth having? The I only mean, thing I've watched really worth watching- 24. Well, on, yeah, on 24 big... works great. But oh. also films, obviously, that's the main mm. reason I bought it, because films just look amazing on the- Yeah, DVD on, on yeah. the plasma yeah. screen. So you're into films and that, yeah. it's just that I only, you know, I've just got the, got the five channels and flicking about, and I'm, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why more people listen to radio and stuff. Yeah. Cause, well, not this one, but go on. Well, I th- when was it? When was, uh, the last time I sort of sat down and had time, cos I'm always busy doing stuff on that. Sure. Um. Moaning takes up about three hours a day. Mm. When did, when did Wimbledon, uh, finish? A couple of weeks ago. Right. Found myself sat there, right, I'm not having a go, I know we stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week and all that, right, so Christ. I'm not, I'm not gonna be having a go. Christ. I sat there. I'm scared. No, I'm not having a go, you've always got to remember that. Go I'm on, just, just, just get on with it, get on with it, I'll apologise after. I'm just saying, watching Wimbledon, it wasn't, uh, you know, one of the major games, it was, uh, right. little fellas in a, in a wheelchair, having a, having a game. Little fellas in a wheelchair. Right. But, for me, I mean, you know, great, they're doing a the sport and everything, but don't put it on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> what was up with it? It wasn't, it wasn't, like, a rally going on. <laughs> No, do you know what I mean? Do you know oh, normally, Christ. like, with the, with the, with your, well, not two endmen, but with some of the other, <laughs> with, with some of the other players and that, they're playing for ages, aren't they? It's like, yeah. oh, who's gonna win this and that? Yeah. None of that. It was just like, hit it, net. <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, God! I don't know what to do! What, 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 what? And people, people would like, sat there watching it as well, when they've got other games going on in there, that's what I couldn't understand. If you've paid your money oh, to get God. in, yeah. I mean, like I say, good on them if they'd- do you know what I mean? But it would've been- I And they all I, start first in the marathon. I just thought it would've, you know, give them a game of swing ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, 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 I understand. Oh, God! Yeah. There's never anything else. XFM wrong. in the community. <laughs> Did anyone confirm, actually, I had an email earlier, um- Swing <laughs> ball! No, I'm not having a go, though. Tell them. This is what I'm like, aren't I? You, uh, sorry, this is recording you as well. What do you mean I'm not having to go tell them? Do you, what, you no, think you just said that to me? That you, do you think you haven't got a microphone? You just said to London, keep wheelchair sport off the telly because they can't get a rally going. You called them little fellas in wheelchairs. What? And I meant to go, what Carl meant was? What? I mean, what? <laughs> they can hear you as well. Yeah, I know, it's just that they might think that I'm, I'm having a go and I don't want them to. That's why I stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week because some people got the wrong end of the stick. Football team. A monkey football team? Yeah, in, mm-hmm. uh, Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. Uh, got all the, uh, got all the team members here, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all the different things. Um, little goalkeeper. Apparently he's on transfers from some other club. But the bit that got me attention is, apparently he's a holder of PhD of physics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a look at that? Oh, the goalkeeper? Yeah, just the goalkeeper. The, the others haven't done that much. <laughs> the others haven't done that much? Well, I believe that he's got better exam results than you, Carl, but I don't believe he's got a PhD in physics. Good Obviously- guy. Do you know what the name of the team is? Coconuts. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, Carl, would you sit on a bed, right, with Stephen in a hotel room, right, watching football, Okay, you're pouring, you're pouring each other wine and beer and shouting. Well, no, there wasn't that music playing. There was the roar of the crowd and John Motson doing commentary. It wasn't. 
<laughs> it's not a sexy sound at all. <laughs> what do you think, Carl? Um, someone said, "I'll oh, come to my room. We're watching football." You got there, and he went. Da, 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 well, who was on the bed first? That's not what happened. Who was on the bed first? Well, he probably got up to answer the door. So he, so we, uh, I don't know. I came in. I thought, well, there's only a bed here. We sat down. We thought, yeah. No, but it wasn't. It was a chair there. So. Well, yeah, but you know full well that if you're in a room with Ricky, he's the one who's going to leap straight on the bed and demand that you. I just take the chair. Well, why would you be concerned with lying on a bed yeah. next to me? What's up with that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Why, why is it weird? I don't understand this. Because I changed my tune. <laughs> it's a bit weird lying on a bed with a mate, just watching football. Yeah, you don't do that when you go around a house, do you? Yeah, you but it's because you have a sofa and things. We didn't have that in the yeah, room. Yeah, but when you visit someone in hospital, you don't say, move over. You pop, you don't pop yourself down yeah. next to him, you sit on the chair next no, to him. No, because you're not there in a relaxed situation for 90 minutes enjoying a game of sport. It's a, it's a more formal environment. Because mm. you're quite a sport fan, aren't you, Carl? Yeah, but not in, um, <clears throat> I don't like getting into things too much. Mm. Because it can well, only be true. disappointing. I've never seen him get into anything. No. To be quite honest. No, I am a football fan, but I've got in. I've got. I've got it now to a point where if they lose, it only bothers me for about half an hour. Yeah. And then I move on, because mm. the thing is, I'm not in control of it. There's nothing I can do to alter that no. that team. If I could go in and say, "Listen, you're lazy. You get your finger out. You move up front." But it's different. But it's totally. It's like getting annoyed with nature. There's nothing you can do. Mm. So let it happen. Watch it if you want, but don't get annoyed about it because it's totally out of your hands. Interesting yeah. that Carl's team tactics also sounds like he could be directing a gay porn. <laughs> 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 you get your finger out. You get up front. <laughs> You're lazy. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. What do you think of these people, though? I love it that everyone's a, an expert. Everyone's a pundit. You see these fat people in pubs going, well, he's lost a few yards up front. Yeah, you, you, mm. you fucking score a goal then, fatty. Mm. Wearing a football top. Yeah. I hate that. Exactly, yeah. They shouldn't make them for them. Shouldn't make them in that size. <laughs> it should be one size only. If you're fit enough to play football, you can wear one. If you're yeah. a fatty, you're not. <laughs> It looks ridiculous anyway. But what's that? That's what he was talking about. So you were a big fat slob with his belly out in an England shirt going, I could score from there. Go on then, let's have a go. Mm. Hey, listen, calm down. Don't be slagging off the fans because that's what it's all about. All, football's all about the supporters, isn't it? You know, mm. let's not forget these people paid millions to entertain us. If we want to drink till we're fat and eat pork pies and then put on an England shirt, we'll do it. But that is the it British way, that is the English way, that is what we won a war for. What difference does it make if we win or lose? That's what I always look at, the end result. How can you say you like football and then give us that argument? The well, only it's... reason to watch football is, is the excitement of the challenge. Yeah, it's entertainment. No, it is and entertainment. And a bit of skill. It's nice to see a bit of skill. Well, that, that yeah, because it's entertaining. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, enjoy the game for what it is, and then forget about it. If Fat Bob in the pub, mm. he's got his football top on. Mm, just. He gets all annoyed mm. when England, you know, lose. Yeah. What difference does it make? What difference does it make if they lose there or lose in the final? Well, I'll What's the point? Well, I'll tell you what difference it makes. I knew a fat Bob, okay? That wasn't his name, but I'm changing the name to protect the innocent and him. And he's not innocent, right? Was it Fat Dave? It was a big fat bloke, right? And he worked on one of the crews um, that used to bring in equipment where I used to work at the Students' Union, okay? And uh, he, was, he was massive, right? And uh, I think it was... 1990 or 1992, the Euro, right, when England got knocked out and he went mental. And he was so angry, he went out and he wanted retribution, okay. Luckily, there were no German people around, but the closest he, he could find was a sausage van. Some poor <laughs> bloke who delivered sausages and he turned it over. He got the van and he turned it over because it was selling sausages, so he thought that's German enough. No, well, if he's fat, he's probably just annoyed that it wasn't open. <laughs> For you, this is from uh, Jay. He's got a problem here. Um, he says, uh, my parents won't let me ditch my studies. He's currently reading modern languages at London University. Sure. He wants to follow his dream, but his parents won't let him, of being a dancer. Carl. Worse than that, he says that they're trying to arrange a marriage to a bunch of uh, minging daughters of people they know from good families. He doesn't know what to do, so he's got the arranged marriage coming along, and he's also got, you know, he basically wants to, you know, wants to be a dancer. His parents are forcing him into, um, something more practical. Well, the first thing, right, I don't think Live the, your dreams? the arranged marriage thing is such a bad idea. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I think too many people go on looks. Right. And then you soon get bored of that. 
mm -hmm. and you find out the person who you're knocking about with is actually not your type. Right. right. Why don't you arrange marriages for people? Well, uh, I'm just saying, right, so I'd say, uh, Jay, go along with that. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I mean, if they're really ugly, then, you know, don't go along with it, but if they're half bad, yeah. put up with it. That's sure. Right. The dancing. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> That's that solved. Brilliant. I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> After I did the boxing, right, I joined, uh, joined a dancing thing just near, um, Man United's ground, right, called Twiggies. Right. Um, <laughs> went it? along, I wanted to learn some moves. And How I, old were you? Well, it was when Michael Jackson was, like, pretty big, so, about 80, 83, 84, 85, oh, yeah. something like that, around there. Um, wanted to do it. Um, when I went, it was shut and it had become, like, a warehouse for a toilet rolls. So in a way, I wonder what would have happened. Sorry, sorry, how is that an anecdote about you going through <laughs> dancing? Well, You've I'm... told me before, you what, you did boxing for a while, you did dancing for a while, you had <laughs> two fight in the boxing, you didn't even get in the pl That's not an you yeah, Imagine but... if that was a film! This is not um, a boy's dream of becoming a dancer. <laughs> oh, it's shut. Next on. I mean, you... How is that a story? Yeah, that was Billy Elliot. Do you think it would have won, a, <laughs> it won quite as many awards? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Footloose. All right, <laughs> yeah. I'm fed up, they've banned it. Let's go, oh, it's shut. Um, <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. Yeah. Flash dance. First, there was... Ah, oh, it's a warehouse. <laughs> Never mind. You. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you'll find something else. I, I, can't, I think I got a go-kart after that. <laughs> I bought a motorised go-kart and kept myself busy with that. So... <laughs> <laughs> There's always, there's always other just things. think, Alan Bennett has to sit down and really sweat over his stories. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, he just opens his mouth. You are a living Alan Bennett character. So that's oh. that. So that's that solved. Well, Jay, don't worry about that. There's um, no emotional there, emotional problems I can foresee uh, if you follow that advice. So the advice Sorry, there is do an arranged marriage. It, 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 if she's not, if she's not ugly. minging, yeah. she's not completely minging. Yeah. Uh, and don't worry about dancing. Get a go kart. Cheers. <laughs> um, coming up, Steve. I went away with Carl. Okay. It was a little present from Jane. It was a golfing day. And I could take someone, took Carl. It was a brilliant day. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. But it ended with us sort of drinking and chatting and me saying, right, I'm going to bed. Because Carl said the most ridiculous thing he has ever said. Think of that. That's something. Sorry, let me just get this, mate. I don't quite understand. You were given a gift. And the gift was a golfing, a golfing a day, day of golf. And, and, and uh, uh, yeah, for my Christmas present, part of my Christmas present from Jane, um, uh, a night away, um, two rooms, two rounds of golf, dinner for two, right? Oh. Uh, uh, but, but not with her, I noticed. Well, she doesn't play, no, she knew, no, it was a right. present, they were playing golf, it was, it was a sure. golf day. she doesn't play golf, so um, I had to choose someone to, uh, sure. um, uh, take away. Um, sorry, it wasn't a romantic meal. <laughs> no, no, but that was, what, that was <laughs> my immediate thought, I was... <laughs> yeah, 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 me and Carl, uh, just, uh, getting in there in the jacuzzi together. <laughs> it it just sounds like an excuse for Jane to have a day off from you. <laughs> <laughs> but right. you don't play golf, Jane, I know, I know, go. <laughs> go, go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> a bowling ball with yeah. my name on it. Um, so, <clears throat> chose Carl, obviously. Um, uh, we went. Well, it was a great day, wasn't it? Brilliant round of golf. Absolutely brilliant. Such a beautiful place in Stoke Poges, It's like a really posh place. And does, uh, do, <coughs> are you a good golf, uh, a good golf player? Uh, well, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Well, we, uh, he bought, he, we, he bought the shoes, especially for it. Oh, we could I'd love to see him in those little shoes. I know, and they were no good because they were metal spikes, we had to change them, he was annoyed straight away. He, he spent over £22 on his, these golf shoes. <laughs> uh, we hired a buggy, that was brilliant fun. Uh, I was bombing along, wasn't I? Mm. I don't drive, but I, I just, it was great on that buggy. Well, you've been on a buggy with me and you were a bit scared. Yeah. What, what, I nearly killed us once. I was just taking banks and things, but you don't see sort of bunkers, and he'd scream, go, stop! And he'd put his foot down the brake, and then went like reverse. At one point, he sort of did a handbrake turn next to the lake, and then we had we had to reverse, right? And you know, you just flick a switch and put your foot down. He did that without looking. I looked behind, there's a big oak tree there. He screams, <laughs> watch the tree, right? He was, he was, yeah. So, oh, Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I kept jumping in and uh, leaving him behind because I had to go to my ball. Because uh, sure. anyway, um, so uh, the first shot, the first shot, I got on my driver. I honestly did one of the best shots I've ever done. It went straight down. It was great. I thought, phew, got away with that because it's always the first one because it's a clubhouse and you want to yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, 
<laughs> he did shut up. And I've been saying, buy some balls. He just got six balls. I was going, what if you lose me? I want these six balls, right? He gets, <laughs> he tees up, right? Whacks it. It goes miles, like, right angles, straight into these, uh, the, the woods, right? He turns around, he goes, go and buy some more balls. <laughs> so I'm laughing, because it's, like, impolite to laugh. But he, he, he broke the ice for me, and yeah. I was falling around. And then second shot, I go, you know you're off a three now. If you take another shot, he went, oh, right. So it's his third shot, he puts the ball down. <laughs> he hits the ground before it, and this is the ball off the <laughs> And I was on my back, wasn't I? <laughs> Unbelievable. Actually rolling about on his back. <laughs> <laughs> and we were the terrible. Tortoise. I went round 107, he went round in like 119 or so much. Sure. We, it was just rubbish. How long but did it take? Five hours. Of course. And there was no one around, luckily. Yeah, um, yeah. But it was fantastic. So then we go and have a, um, uh, our meal. What well, annoys me, I said, right, I'll go for a run, you and I'll have a bath. I said, I'll see you at quarter to eight. At five to eight, I have to call him. He's not ready, so he's let me down there. Oh. We, I, I can't stay in lateness or laziness. You hate lateness. So, yeah, and he's let me down. Do you know his excuse? He fell asleep in the bath because there was no light bulb. There was no light bulb in the bathroom. So, so he fell instantly asleep. he fell asleep. <laughs> and he was late. No, do you know what I mean though, Steve? If you're sort of like nice and warm and what have you. I was tired anyway, I've been stressed out <laughs> for four and a half hours, right? Uh, <laughs> right. My life flashed in front of me a few times in that buggy. <laughs> so it's all sort of wears you down a bit. I thought, right, I've got a headache. You're going for your run. I'm going to have a bath. I walk in, put the light on. For some reason it didn't come on, but I thought, it's all right. I'll just, uh,. You know, doesn't matter. You can have a bath in the it's dark. It's summer, so it's light right. anyway. Well, so. there's no windows in the bathroom, so <laughs> yeah. So you're in the darkness. So I'm in the darkness. <laughs> I nod off because I'm shattered. <laughs> he calls up, asking me. So I said, "Well, I won't." I, you know, it doesn't normally take that long for me because you know I haven't got like long hair. I've got a dryer, and sure. I can sort of one wipe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, already ten minutes late though when I called. Well, of course. ten minutes. Mm, ten well, minutes. lateness is lateness. Well, next, doesn't matter. Dinner mm. wasn't until quarter past, so mm. we had like another yeah. twenty minutes anyway. So mm. it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but we said quarter two. So he's calling up. Hurry up, hurry up. So I said, yeah, all right. So I get out. I'm drying like my tackle and what have you. <laughs> Calls back again. Do you stop thirty seconds later. You know. No, I don't. No? You know, I don't, don't like that. Do that no. Give it a wipe. Thirty seconds later. Come on. So I end up going downstairs to the to the meal area naked with a wet shirt on and wet socks. <laughs> I've got headache as it is. Must be a relaxing weekend. <laughs> right now, uh, it was back in the nineteen eighties. Right, so it is quite topical then. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. When did this happen then? Nineteen eighties. Yeah, yeah. It's about a uh, Colombian F one sort of form you know Formula One driver. Yeah. Uh, apparently these races were going on. Right, and uh, someone kept winning them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay, forget it, forget it. No, don't do it. It's because it's, rubb it's rubbish. Right, so someone kept winning the races. So uh, uh, this this um this someone this this human um that kept winning the races. So this human being that kept winning the races, um, Carl. What was his name? Um, his name is it? It's Jimmy something. Yeah. But How tall is he? Well, Just something interesting. No, 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 I took his helmet off, right? You know, you know the short trousers he used to wear? <laughs> the, you, know, his, you know his trousers were about a foot long, but his shirt, the, the sleeves are really long! Anyway, right, so because he wouldn't take his helmet off, and You're he, an was idiot. In, he was in, he, he was taking part in like, yeah. the F3, which is like the lower ranks yeah. of Formula 1 and that. Just get to it, just get to it. Everyone to thought it was like a, a famous driver yeah. who was just taking part get, in that. get to being a monkey. Anyway, what happened on. was, uh, there was a crash one day. Yeah. And the car tipped over, everyone's like, oh. He ran up a tree? <laughs> So they suspected when he ran away with the ambulance people up a tree and started eating a banana? So the marshals ran over and the ambulance people were there and they yeah. were about to take his helmet off and the marshal was like, don't take his helmet off. They give yeah. away the secret that he's a monkey. Give away the secret <laughs> and that. Yeah, chimp. Yeah. Took his helmet off. Jimmy Chimp. Jimmy Chimpers. <laughs> Little monkey under there. No, definitely not. Okay, let's play Ryan Allen. Did, did he survive? He? Let me yeah. just cover questions. Did he survive? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah. He, he, he was allowed to keep all the awards that he won. Sure. But he wasn't allowed to take part in any other races. Yeah. Didn't happen. Uh, this is Ryan Adams. So, uh... I think I first became really excited by the World Cup, that famous year when Maradona did the handball. Do you remember, what was that, 1986? 86. Yeah. Oh, that was so exciting. Because obviously he'd been so brilliant in that tournament, and then he did cheat, as we all know. Yeah. 
What do you What do you make of that? Do you remember that moment, Carl? Well, that, was, that was very formative. I, for I me. know what I made of it. The cunt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Isn't cheating part of part of all games now? Hang on. Here oh, we go. This on. is controversial. Well, uh, 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 There's uh, a lot of young people who look up to Carl as a role model. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the world we live in now, isn't it? It's uh, get what you can, how you can. But what's your feeling? Are you the sort of person? I mean, have you ever cheated in a game? Are you that sort of person? Um, I just think my dad does it a lot. Um, what in board games and that? Yeah, just just cards, you know, Monopoly. Um, how does he cheat in Monopoly? Just nicks a lot of the money. I'm oh, just straightforward. Nicks the money. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, I love that. But how do you not notice even doing it? He doesn't. I'm busy looking at you know what properties I've I've invested in and sure. stuff, and the money's just there, isn't it? See, I don't see the point of cheating. No, I don't. Monopoly. I say that to him. I say you're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself. But to him, it, he's, he's broke the system, hasn't he? He's got round the rules. What do you mean? I can only have that much. You says I can. Bosh. Get some more money. Buy some more hotels. And in a way, that's life, isn't it? Mm. All people with loads of money now, you kind of go, have they made that honestly? Right. You know, I pass big houses in London, and I think gangsters got to be gangsters to have a house like that. Yeah. There's no way a normal job, someone who's because I know I'm trying to make money, and I know how hard it is to make money, because the more money you make, the more hands are out there taking little bits. So how the hell has this man bought this house? <laughs> got to be a crook. <laughs> so do you yourself cheat? Would you consider yourself a cheater? Are you honourable in games? Well, just generally, do you cheat on anything? No, do you know what? The other week, I'd had uh, a cup of tea and some fish and chips mm. at this pub, and they only took for one. And I went back the next day and said, oh, you didn't charge me for my fish and chips. What a fucking moron. I paid. No, I didn't tell her about the tea, though. <laughs> Got a free tea? The free tea, yeah. I just thought, well, you know, it's pretty good that I've gone back to pay for that. How much is a tea bag? Mm. The water's free. Yeah. I'll have that for free. So that, again, that's just me. It's like the Mars bar and the paper round. Mm. It's me going. Well, I've been good. The fish would have cost money. Potatoes are pretty cheap, but I'll pay for it. But for my goodness, is a little gift. Have a free cup of tea. But who's giving you the right to make that decision? That's me. That that's me. I'm deciding there. Right. I'm in charge. I didn't have to go in there. I didn't have to go back and pay. But I went back and paid. Tell you what, Carl, treat yourself. How's that? Have the cup of tea. All right, I will do. There's the fish and chips. If she, if she was good at her job, <laughs> she'd have remembered. I thought she would have done. In a way, it annoyed me that she didn't go. Oh yeah, so you did. Well done. Thank you very much for coming back. Right. She just was like, "Did you?" Not she looked at me. I she looked like she looked at me like we didn't even know. Yeah. I was worrying about a staff member getting sort of fired getting done yeah. or having to pay for it. You I know. know where you're coming at there. One of my first disappointments with football, I was um, I was ten years old. Okay. And uh, one of the teachers was um, in charge of the football team, my junior school. And uh, I went down to Tutty's, it was, a shop in Reading with my mum. So it's, it's white socks, black shorts, white shirt. Went to, knocked on his door. I said, uh, I've got my kit. He went with the trials were yesterday. You've missed it. That was it for a year. Right? Next year, or when the trials, when the trials, got the trials, okay? He was going, everyone, I want to give it 100%, right? Really try hard, really try hard. He's watching people play, right? I made sure that every time I ran by him, I was out of breath. I, <sighs> like, really trying, <sighs> every time I ran by him, he sort of looked at me, I think, yeah, right? <sighs> Came to it, he said, the team is this, I'm left out, right? He went past me, and he went, you've clearly got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't make that team either? Yeah, and I didn't, and and uh, and I vowed that day never try hard at anything. Yeah, well, you've certainly kept that up. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that, Carl? Were you play? Do you play sport at school? Um, a little bit, but it was never taken seriously at school. Anyway, it was. Uh, I think the PE teacher was a geography teacher as well. So it's like you know, what yeah. does he know? It was all that. Basically, he put some tracksuit pants on that were always too tight for him. See everything. What were you looking at? Because you, you couldn't help it. It was in the days when clothing was tight as it is, mm. and then it was like lycra tracky bottoms. All oh, right. And everyone used to say, "Look at the state of that." But, but like uh, he's stealing sausages from. It was ridiculous. Londis. Ridiculous. 
Um, so he didn't know what he was doing anyway. Th- if anything, it was dangerous because he didn't know what was what was the capability of a of a ten year old kid's body. Right. He, he put you through loads of stuff. Right. He didn't like me anyway because he wasn't that good. If you're not that good, teachers don't like. I you, thought they? you'd be pretty good. I wasn't interested. That's the thing. I did right. relay and I got done for swearing. Got whacked on the ass with a baton. Hold on, why, why, why were you swearing in relay? When, when did that come into it? When did you need to swear in relay? You're running round, aren't they? Because the lads wouldn't slow down, so I couldn't pass it on, so I sort of said, fucking slow down. And then he heard me, and then went mental at me. But yeah, so it was never... I mean, Darren Campbell, the the, the athlete, I've told you, I don't know, that I was involved in his, his training. No. Didn't know about this. Yeah, Darren Campbell, the... Uh, I think he won a gold medal. Didn't he used to push you around in a bath or something? Oh, it's not last of the summer wine. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, it was in my go-kart. Right. And you used to, it was a motorised go-kart and you had to like pick it up at the back, run with it at speed and then drop the wheels down and the engine kicked in. But hold on though, that means you always needed two people to get you going on a go-kart? No one, he did it. Well, wh- where were you? Sat in it. Well then you did need two then to get it going. What are you on about? He, it, I was sat in it. Yeah. He picks it up, mm. runs with it. Yeah. Drops it down. <laughs> wheels start, engine starts, off I go. But what would you have done without him? Well, I couldn't have done it. So you do need two people then for this motor. Well, one to person. Go. I'm sat in it. Yeah, but the, counting you, it's two people needed. Yeah. Fuck me. Jesus well, what's Christ. So, what's so bad about that? Well, how can you how can you have a play with yourself then? <laughs> and you go can't. <laughs> Um, sorry, this was part of his official Olympic training. No, no, but I just feel like that was part of his early training, right. which is the important bit in any, you know, job or. Well, walk, no, we should life. explain. People don't know he was the bloke who used to push the bobsleigh in the Winter Olympics, wasn't he, for the England team? No, he was a he was a runner. Well, how was that part of his training then? Pushing a fucking go kart? <laughs> what was he doing? Because it's running. But he's running about a yard. No, no, sometimes more than that, quite a lot. And it's just, uh, God, what do you want? It's Darren Campbell pushing <laughs> me go-kart. You seem to be taking half the credit for his gold medal. All you've done is sat on your arse, you lazy twat. I just kind of think, he was he was at the age where it's important. He could have made a decision not to go into it at that point. And I think he was never keen to get in the go-kart. Yeah. He was always keen to push it. And I used to let him. Now, if I said, <laughs> no, I don't want you pushing me go-kart, who knows? I'm just saying I was there at the start. Doing nothing. Providing nothing. Sitting on your ass. <laughs> Sitting around. Well, letting you, someone it, else all right, do it. What athletes have you helped? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know this was a uh let let's let's do a podcast about athletes we've helped. <laughs> You've not helped him, Carl. I'd have come prepared. <laughs> I bet if he ever did a book, an autobiography, he'd go they you know the early years, Darren Campbell. Now I want to know if he has done an autobiography because we're going to be looking this up. I remember the training. I'm making a note of that for the next weather. time we do anything. Round up Pilkinsons. Darren Campbell. Pushing a go kart. Pushing. Bold. You weren't bold, then, were you? Well, I had a little hair of In crap. Cheap. It wasn't. Go kart. 120 quid it was. You know how many paper rounds that is? What I like when um, you're watching football on the television is if it goes to a close up of a footballer, it's just kick the ball out, Mr. Gar is gone for a free kick or whatever. If you stay on any footballer for more than 10 seconds, they will either swear or gob. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never needed to gob that much. It's I don't care how knackered I am, I'm never gobbing like that. It's weird though. The other week, I just sat in the garden, slavering. <laughs> just to see if it would ever run out. And it's amazing. I don't know where it all comes from. What is the that's strangest thing? That's, that's amazing. Just so to that, see if it would run so out. So now he's got to the point in his life where, a, as a hobby, or a pastime, or just to count down the minutes before he dies, yeah. He sat in the garden, creating sputum, slavering to see if he'd ever run out. I mean, that's but amazing. Where does it all come from? Well, you create what? it, don't you? But from what? I'm always getting done for not drinking enough water. Salivary glands. But it's amazing. 
Honestly, I just sat like that with my head forward and just let it drip. Fuck wow. me! So Dude, Suzanne comes into the garden like and all she sees is her patient. boyfriend sat like something from one of the cuckoo's nest. Yeah, like someone dribbling. Been battered around the head with a cricket bat. No, she was, she was did reading she, something. Did you answer she back to a dictator? Yeah. What'd he do? Battered me. But you I, got a trench up your ass as well. Yeah, that makes me slather. No, just sat there. What a fucking That's mom. extraordinary. What, what a div you are. And I just had my head there and it continuously- I think I got bored of it before it stopped. <laughs> oh God! I have never heard anything like this! Oh God, I need a second opinion! Wanker. It's unbelievable! He just sat there with his head down, slavering, letting it just- That's extraordinary. You weren't even sort of like, <sighs> gobbing, you were just, no, just letting- letting it, letting it sort of drop. So you've, you've got, you've got <laughs> nothing else going on in your life that you've got time to do this. So your brain wasn't even engaged. How long were you there for? I tell you what, no joking, probably a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> fifteen wow. minutes of sitting with his head forward, Amazing. letting him salivate onto the grass. But do you reckon you could do that amount? I would well, never, we'll do never, try. never do it. Never do it. I'll I'll never try. I never have that amount of time. I've never. I've. Ne I, I tell you now, you will never see either of us sat there for no reason in the garden with our head forward and our mouth open, seeing how long we can create saliva. Unless I've just come out of a coma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or a gas attack. Yeah. No, I have a lot of, uh, I'm sort of goes unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great new dance duo! And it, please welcome to the stage, it's Goz Unlimited! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. D uh, didn't you have a little bit of problem in, um, China with them all gozzing? Goz Unlimited. Oh god, I tell you, they're just spitting all the time over there. I don't know what it's all about. All the time. That noise of <laughs> oh that continuously that, everywhere you look that good sort of footballer ball of gob that they sort of they spit and it kind of flies a couple of I can't do it I've tried I can never do it yeah. if I try and spit it just dribbles down my shirt I don't That's know why amazing. I can't do it That's amazing. I've tried in the past because well, it used do. to be cool I remember when I was yeah. a kid you'd hang around outside yeah, the spa yeah, yeah. what you've got to do is you've got to sit in a chair in the garden just put your head <laughs> like forward and yeah. open your mouth and Practice. just let the yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the all comes out and uh, you'll probably get bored after about fifteen minutes <laughs> okay. if you're a fucking moron. Okay. Uh, uh, so we're having a nice walk, right? You know how, uh, nudists do me adding. Sure. <laughs> right. Not uh, a problem though, is it? It's not like being scared of spiders where they might jump out under the chicken, uh, chicken sink, kitchen sink at ya. You? you know what I mean? It's not a big problem being, having your head done in by nudists. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, it just annoys me, it sort of ruins the day a little bit. Cause it, it, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Right. Take your clothes off if you feel uncomfortable. It's much more relaxing. Yeah, but, well anyway, right, so I'm walking along the beach, right, lovely long beach, what have you, you know, watching the sea, picking up shells and that. And what are, your, what are you wearing? What's your natural beach club? When he says picking up shells, I imagine he's like on all fours going, oh, yeah. like that, you know what I mean, looking at things. <laughs> Just oh. like washing his nuts in the sea to, to get the, to get them tasty. Yeah, going into the sea and then kind of shaking himself <laughs> and all the water flows off. <laughs> Yeah. I've just got, you know, flip flops on, pair of shorts Some and, uh, and like a little, a little light shirt. Right? Sure. Mm. So anyway, walking along and uh, Suzanne goes, oh look, right? And there's this woman, German I think, uh, coming out of the- How could you tell she was German? Under well, arm hair? I'll get to it. Oh, Forget okay. the under arm hair. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> she came out, it looked like she was smuggling seaweed. <laughs> I'm right. going to burst! Oh god! And, and the, f the funny thing is, right? <laughs> she, uh. <laughs> Smuggling seaweed! Oh god! She, uh, she was a bit hairy down there, was she? It, mental. <laughs> I felt bad because I hadn't had a shave for two days, right? Looked at her, just. It was ridiculous. She might as well have kept her trunks on. <laughs> it was just like she was wearing furry trunks, right? So, anyway. Oh god! So, I'm walking around. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, go on in. So Suzanne's like, oh look, and I'm like, oh, not again, you know, because every time we go away, there always seems to be one of these. Is she by herself, this woman? Well, the weird thing was, she was with her husband, right, oh, yeah. but he had shorts on, he yeah. was happy, right, yeah. but every time, like, because I walked past her and he sort of ran off, because he's, he's embarrassed, <laughs> do you know what I mean, there's nothing normal about it, How, what can he do, he can't go, alright mate, because he knows it's, it's odd, right. How so old I'm, was he? Uh, sorry, how old was she? 
<sighs> it's hard to tell when someone hasn't got clothes on. Sure. You know what I mean? It's they, they always look older, don't they? When when they haven't got clothes on anyway. But I'd say she was about forty, forty one. Okay. Right. So um so yeah, so I walked past and, and the annoying thing is she, she got there on a bike, right? No clothes on, little pair of boots next to the bike. So if you can wear boots, just pop some shorts on. <laughs> you know what I mean? That takes more effort for me, putting boots on. But put the shorts on. Right? right. So anyway, so the husband kept running off. I walk past, and, and I, I'm getting annoyed because I'm saying, well, we've got to walk past them again on the way back. There's I no love the way. fact that they're scuttling away when Carl walks past. Like when you lift up a bit of, um, sort of iron sheeting in the woods and loads of mice run away. Yeah. It's like whenever Carl goes, that nudists <laughs> run away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, okay. So, but no, so, so, we sort of come walking back and what have you and, and, you know, I have a, have another look and what have you and he runs off again. Why are you another look if it offends you so much? Well, you might as well just, just have a look, you know what I mean? It's just putting it on show and what have you. But yes. the interesting thing was, I just wondered whether the, the husband... Cause if I, the husband were renewed, you'd looked at his tackle. Because remember, when you went to see those two strippers and it was a woman and a man and they whipped their shorts off, you said you looked at his tackle first. Uh, I think any bloke would. Wow. You would. You just check it out, it's natural, isn't it? You just go, oh, right. <laughs> well, it is normal or whatever. Because you don't know if you, you... know what I mean? You don't know if what you've got's right until you see someone else's. <laughs> No, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go but on anyway, then. so, um, but he got us talking, cos I was, then, soon as I saw her, sort of, the day's been ruined a bit, so I'm walking up the beach- <laughs> It's been ruined! Walking up the beach with Suzanne going, how does it happen? Do you know what I mean? Why do people do this? What's, what's, what fun are they getting out of it and what have you? And, um, I just was thinking, is there any chance that that fella, right, didn't even know that she was a nudist until they went away? Do you know what I mean? Cos yeah. I said to Suzanne, if, if, say if I met Suzanne, it's like we're getting on, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. And then you go off on holiday and you go, you haven't got much, uh, luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, no, it's fine, this is plenty, and I'm thinking that's weird. And then we go down the beach and she whips her knickers off. <laughs> I'd, I'd be annoyed, but there's nothing I could do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Sure. So I'm just wondering whether that's what happened to this fella. Every time someone came walking up, he was like, oh, God, this is embarrassing. And yeah. he kept nipping off. Yeah. Finding something else to do. Look at some shells. <laughs> <laughs> so what, well, I'm what? wondering, Rick, if at some point, maybe today or in future shows, we should get a nudist, you know, one of those official nudist spokespeople, you know, because all these nudist organisations, get them on the phone, justify themselves to Carl, because, you know, in, in his mind, they are, what would you say, weirdos, freaks? I just don't, I don't quite get it. I was reading something in one of the supplements last weekend and some journalist went round to some, uh, whatever you call it, some resort or whatever and for, just for the nudes sure. and that. And it's well, just playing like, volleyball. Well, the annoying thing was, bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that annoying? Well, don't play a sport where you gotta bend over. <laughs> hey. Nice to meet you, Carlitos. How are you doing? You're Very shocker. Good. Shocker. I'm shocker. Very pleased to meet you. Let me show you around. You're a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they would have given me a little fella to sort of try oh, out with. Oh, you want a little fella? How big? This big? Smell. Oh, <laughs> no, come Smell here, boy. Sort of kick. Watch. I know it's Ricky that set it up, and it's funny, you know, to him. But this is like how accidents happen, isn't it? It's like the start of casualty. You watch that programme, everyone's having fun. It's a party or something. People are going on, on holiday in a bus and you know it's all going to go wrong. And that's how this feels. It feels like the start of casualty. That's just someone being chucked around. That's going to be me out there. I mean, does he know the full story that I'm here to see the Seven Wonders? I haven't come here to be trained as a... No, he doesn't, matter. No, well, it's... Uh, you should tell him, really. Look better on you. Wow. You look just like a wrestler. Not oh, like a right no bad. Hey, come on. Squat and then jump and kick your legs. Like yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's all right. Whoa! Good job! Really? Yeah, you almost got it. Okay, we're gonna start with a basic training of wrestling. Are you ready? No, hope for don't, man. <laughs> You'll be okay in a couple of days. Come on. Ready? You gotta follow the lead, okay? Come on. There you go. See how easy that was? Ah, 
Okay. Can I be you in that one? Shit house. Come on, you shit. <laughs> You see me shaking. It hasn't done me confidence any good, really, because I thought it was fitter than that. What do you think Suzanne said she saw you now? I'm not letting her watch this one. Whenever, whatever night this goes on, I'm going to take her out for something to eat. I want to stay in. Watch now we're going out. For fuck's sake. You are lit. In two minutes, downstairs. I'm joking, was he, when he said he was going to come round at four? He was just having a, having a bit of fun with me. Nice start to the day, moon's still out. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. By accident. Because I don't go about punching people and stuff, so I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might really hurt him. Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, I'm walking right. down the street, right? Mm. I look at you. I I'm going, going this way. Yes. Yeah, hang on. You stop right, hang me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So, so I, I'm walking down the street, and mm. I think this fella looks like he's he's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, I'd go, I'd go. Excuse me, you haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right. Mm. Give us your money. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. What the happened? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I got it the first time. Come on, go. Quickly! Faster! Come on, come on! Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. mm, mm, mm. Oh god! Quick! Mm, 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 mm. oh, come on, He doesn't know what my health is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. Do it! Do it! Oh. Right. Right. What am I doing? Seriously, what is going on here? Okay, Carl, I'll give you a challenge. What sort of challenge? Ah! What's the other challenge? This glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon. Yes. Hole in glass. Yes. So you're gonna. Hey, hang on a minute. Right. One. Two. No way. Jesus. I'm impressed with that. You want to have a try? Here we go. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cut out for Kung Fu, I know that much. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea.
but I've done wrestling. I mean, there's there's nothing greater or more honourable than being a champion sumo wrestler. These guys are huge. They're like superstars over there. <laughs> It's just all about the nappy thing, isn't it, with Ricky? Making me look a knob. You can't look good in a nappy. A baby doesn't look good in a nappy. It's not a good look. And it's not even a skill that I want to learn, really, sumo. What, what training do they have to do? It's just pure... It's just eating, isn't it? That's the workout. It's just something for fat people to do, which is good, because fat people haven't got many sports. You know, I suppose it gets them off their arse. I just don't want to be under it. You having a laugh? Have you seen the size of it? Look at them, they're like two rhinos at each other. It's unbelievable the force they're cracking. Just that is it, that's what you have to do, you have to push them out of the ring. Are there any of them that you think you could fight? Yeah, I'm over there with the blue shirt and glasses on. Can we at least get out of the nappy thing? Can we at least just say we don't need to do that? Because it's more about the pushing and the shoving and the fight than the fashion. What do you want to wear, Carl? I just need underpants. But they're not wearing their pants, are they? No, probably because they can't get any to fit them. Carl? Carl, yeah. How hey, are you? Carl. How are you? Yeah. I'm ma ma <laughs> Say again? Ma ma the, the nappy. Let's go. Just wear these. Hurry up. Yeah. Right. Is it okay if I keep these on? No. Just give it a go. Let's just have a look. Try. Try. Please, can we just try? Go on. No. It's fine. It is. You but. But, but I'll be facing you. You shouldn't be looking at my arse. This is fight. It's not arse competition. Once that is on, I can suck it all in and you will not see. Can we just try? It's nipping. It's definitely nipping. It's um, special sacred water or something. You're supposed to drink their their water. Could be sweat or anything that. Bring water. It's fine if we get the shits anyway, innit? Got this on. Hey! I'm sure he was checking for me prostate. No! Ricky's always saying I should have that done at my age. He's left a fucking ring up there. How was it? Um, 
Honestly, I got absolutely battered, thrown all over the place. Do you know that? Do you know that sort of classic nature thing of a, a killer whale throwing a seal through the air? It was like that. If it stick a nappy on that seal, that is what you've got. Uh, got sweat in my eyes. Wasn't mine. That's a first. I was, yeah, I was hoping that one you'd sort of be engulfed by a bad kind of flesh and not be able to breathe. Yeah, and you got that. Also, that he would give you a giant wedgie. That's, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Well, well, basically, you've got your bucket list then. I haven't had mine yet, but you've got your wish. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I've arranged a cosy hotel for you. So, um, go and have a sleep. All right? I'm leaving my underpants on. They're all wearing them. They're not wearing them. This isn't a costume to fight in. I'm not happy with this. The fight was one thing. Looking like this, and I'm going to get battered. It's degrading. You got the top on, right? I don't know. I've no idea. It's not the sort of thing I normally wear, Richard, if I'm honest. So I don't know if I've got it right or not. I'm sorry about that. It feels too small. It's like a small cardigan. Are you sure that you haven't got one of the kids' clothes mixed up with this? I look gormless in the shadow. I've never had that. I've never seen my shadow and thought, what a div I look. I look like an acorn. Right, I suppose I best get this wrestling training done then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on, why have you got these clothes on? Why am I wearing this? You're uh, this on. You're kidding, good. I'm uh, very excited because Peter Crouch is in the tournament. Now, Peter Crouch... You identify with him, I, don't you? I, I love Crouchy. He's exactly the same height as me, yeah. six foot seven. He's sort of lanky and awkward looking. Right, but brilliant. I mean, still a very... You know, let's not forget that he is playing in the national squad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is a striker. You know, he's got an excellent track record of scoring for England. Admittedly, maybe not in the super top important games, but nevertheless... Tremendous. He's like your role model. He's like your pinup. He's a role model. He? he had the. He wrote an autobiography, which I, I was going to call my autobiography, Tall Stories. Crouchy got there first, but good luck to him. I give it to him. Yeah. Well, I, I'm happy for him to do that. I once got someone that came up to me in a in a in a club once and said, "Are you Peter Crouch?" I said, "Yeah." <laughs> I thought she thinks I'm crouchy. What's the problem? I, let's see how far we can get with this before the truth will out. But I she was disappointed. I didn't know you wore glasses. <laughs> no, exactly. I'm sort of off duty. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't wear them on the field. But. Do you think he'd have had a different career if he'd have worn glasses from the age of five, like you? This is one of the reasons I've not been a great footballer. Have you ever seen me doing any form of athletics or sport? No. Because I like to think I look quite elegant. You know, I feel like I'm actually in control of it, but when I look back, if like, someone's videoed it, I look like one of those giant costumes in It's a Knockout. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. where they, the arms With are it, flapping and, and the they, just, they just they yeah. just fall over. No and real they, expression on their yeah. head. Yeah. But one of the things I was disappointed at, I was looking at because um, obviously around this time of the year, there's lots of advertising because of the footballers are all getting endorsements. And I was looking to see what each one was doing. And Wayne Rooney, he's got endorsement deals with Nike, with Nokia, with Coca Cola, Lampard, Pepsi, and Adidas. Peter Grant, do you know what he's advertising? Go on, Pringles. <laughs> it's not. It's not the coolest one, is it, Pringles? <laughs> I mean, even the name Pringles. Really? I know. It's sort of like an insult, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Who's that Pringle? <laughs> is that... Uh, hold on. Is that Crouchy? No, it's Steve Merchant. <laughs> I mean, I love Pringles. Yeah. And I'm pleased to see Crouchy's associated, but I don't was bother disappointed. Don't bother mentioning Pringles, thinking you'll get some free Pringles, because he went on about munches, and then we got another fucking sniff. Oh, true. True. What do you think of that, Carl? But you, are you a fan of Crouchy? You must be, uh... Er... Uh... They're all much of a muchness. That's honestly, nonsense. I didn't want to come in here and start talking about football. I watch it. 
Um, what do I mean, you mean, I mean, I mean come in here and say, what, what, what a thing to say? What? Imagine, imagine Gary Lineker going, hello, welcome to BBC, I didn't want to be here today, talk about football, fed up, I've got better things to do. No, 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 but it's something you talk about, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous coming in here talking about it before we've even kicked a ball. Who knows what's going to happen? If there's one thing that's good about it, it's that, isn't it? Not well, that's what I don't understand. I don't understand all this punditry, why we have a three-hour build-up, then they talk about it half-time, then they talk about it for half-hour afterwards. I mean, for me, it's like, it's kick-off, who won? They did, 3-1. All right, cheers, let's get on with work. But also, we like the whinging after. We are a, you know, this country loves a moan. They love it. Yeah. I love it. Love a good moan. I don't know how we'd be if we won. We'd go, all right, uh, what are we talking about? Yeah. See, back in 1966, people weren't as miserable. No. Okay, let's, well, hang on, I'd like to hear this theory extrapolated. Well, they weren't, were they? People were, um, you know, the war had happened, like, not that long ago. Right. People getting on with it, 66, everyone's smart, you know, you dressed up if you went out, you know, they weren't on as much money. Uh, the footballers. Footballers. <clears throat> it was, it was just a game of football. Whereas now, it's like all this build-up going on. Just get on with it. You know, I'm sick of it, honestly, I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. I'm with it. you, I'm with you. I do think it's ridiculous that there's a the, there's a match and the programme before us, like two hours before it and then an hour after Well, that's just a shameless attempt to keep people... I mean, let's be honest, you and I have been guilty of being involved with that, haven't we? We've done various little skits and sketches in the past. But that's fun. I mean, that we do that for us, not for them. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care whether people like it or not. I, I did it because it was fun. I dressed up, um, you and a dwarf. The day doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Well, I was in a pub watching that year, and I'd forgotten that we'd done that, or at least that it was going to be shown that day. So I'm in this pub, it's crammed, obviously, and that comes on, the tennis on the big screen, and suddenly that's that sketch, right? A couple of things annoyed me. One, no one was paying attention. <laughs> I was furious. I was thinking there's a couple of good-looking birds here. <laughs> well, at least I'm on the fucking tennis. Oh, look at the tennis. Me and the sketch was uh, Ricky Gervais and Warwick Davis. And <laughs> yeah. I'm playing crunchy. No one, not paying attention. The few that were, not amused at all. Could not get my mother, of course, remember famously said that's the funniest thing you've ever done, <laughs> which we knocked off in about twenty minutes. No one in the pub seemed interested, and then a few people like looked round, looked at me, looked at the screen, sort of shrugged, carried on going, nothing, nothing. But also, kind of, it's, it is embarrassing that situation. I was on a flight, um, internal flight in America, and uh, you know, on the uh, the internal flights, um, you don't get individual screens; they give you individual players, but there's also screens all down the aisle sure. for people, right, but Ghost Town was on, Ooh. looked over, someone watching the extras, <laughs> and, and I had to make sure that at no point did I glance up at the screen, like he's watching himself, <laughs> yeah. and make sure I flicked over whenever it came up, the office or extras. Yeah. If I'm on the tube and I'm flipping through the paper, sometimes there'll be an interview with you that I'm not aware is going to be in the paper, yeah. and I have to flip on by because I don't want to play on the tube going, oh, reading about your mate, are you? <laughs> yeah, I don't. don't get enough of him, do you? Need to be reading, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I just... know. <laughs> Carl. Have you been uh, recognised? Uh, do you ever get recognised much? Yeah, now and again. But I haven't done anything of any worth, however, it's almost like recognising a neighbour or something, because they sort of go, oh, it's him. And then the other one might go, what does he do? Go, I don't know. It's not like I've done something... Right, of any worth. Of any worth, yet. Yeah. None of us have done anything of any worth. It's all relative to the entertainment industry. You know, wh whatever you think of The Office, you know, I'm very proud of it, but I haven't secured a bunker in enemy territory. Mm. I haven't given a kidney away. Do you know what I mean? It's all relative. It's just, did you entertain anyone? Did you, you know, bring a smile to someone's face? Was it a laugh? I, I think you're forgetting all those emails I pass on to you for those people that have had traumas in their lives. You know, the earthquake victim. There's people that have lost relatives or had, you know, terrible life-threatening diseases and they say the podcast got them through. Doesn't that warm the cockles of your heart? Uh, well, normally it's, it's gone straight to you, hasn't it? And you just forward it me on, so it's... It's almost like spam to me. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't feel as special because it's like, here you go. Look at this. You know, unbelievable. What do you think about George Best using up his liver, then getting another one and getting pissed again? Clever. Well, that's always going to encourage it, isn't it? I've always said that. What? The moment we can replace stuff, people just go, "Oh, sod it." Like what smokers. would you do if you gave someone a kidney? And then, with it. and they started just you saw them down the pub again. doing drugs and shit and Well I wouldn't I wouldn't hand it out to someone just just like that, would I? I think you should be allowed to say, Right, who's it for? Can I meet them? Right. And then have a chat with them. 
Right. Saying, have you learned your lesson? Well, I'm going to do it. Okay, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little um, kid who wants a, a kidney. Okay. Um, and you've come to me. I'm, I'm at the top of the list. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Good. Are you going to give me one of your kidneys so I can live? I don't know. Um... Well, I'm at the top of the list. So, why is your head so round? Right, so definitely not. <laughs> Why? Definitely he's a little not. kid. Look he's at a him. Little kid. Pale. No, I need. I need a kidney. He's kitchen. cheeky, though, isn't he? No, cheeky. please, Lovely please, roundhead. Can I have a, your kidney? No, you can't. Oh, have come it. on! Right, you've got let's two. Let's see another kid. Let's see another kid. No, Lesson I'm the top. Learned. I'm Lesson top learned. of the fucking list. Give me one of your kidneys, you round-headed twat. No, and I wouldn't feel bad about not giving it you. Well, hold on, though. Can we have a second opinion from the nurse? Wanker. Thank you, nurse. I would not feel bad about walking away from that kid and saying you can not have a kidney. So you're gonna, you're gonna. Do you know what? I'm gonna take this kidney out and bin it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Do you know who that kid went on to become? Go on. Winston Churchill. Right. Well, maybe I helped. It's like Darren Campbell all over again. I made him stronger. I was tough with him. He saw how tough the world is. No, but he didn't. It, this is an alternative universe where he died because you never gave him that kidney. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't worry about that then, can you? If you're gonna, if you're gonna start going that far back and forward and stuff, but I think it, I don't know what I'd expect someone to be like. Just want them to go. What do you eat? I'd, I'd say write down your diet. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna treasure this kidney. I'm gonna treasure it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna really work hard and I'm gonna make something like more than you did. So I. Um, so my this your kidney is gonna be a lot better off for me than you, you lazy tosser. I tell you that. If you want, if you want okay. achievement, then. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna do really well, I'm like you, you thick little round-headed shit. So the quicker you get the fucking kidney out of your useless body yeah. and into mine, we'll all be happy, won't we? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go away and think about it for a month. Well, no. <sighs> <laughs> there you go. Don't have to get nasty. Sick of it. I'm always helping people out. Uh that's a big ask, isn't it? If I came to you, Rick, in all seriousness, yeah, and and you could give me a kid, would you give me a kidney? What if I end up needing it? Well, yeah, but that's the point, isn't it? That you're doing something because can I have moment. it back? Can I have it back if I need no. it? What? No, because I need it. I've only, I've, I mine have failed, and I need at least yes. one. I need at least one. Yeah, you need one. Okay, yeah. right. Okay, this is on loan. Because if my other one goes, I want that back. Because then I'll be on one. Well, no, you. Yeah, but then we're both on one. No. no. Right, you've got y yours. Yours are fucked, so yeah. you might as well be on none. I've got two. Okay, I will give you one. Yeah. Right, with the express understanding that if my remaining one packs up, I want that one back. It's on loan. If we both live out our life, then so be it. But if this other one goes and they said, "Well, you need another kidney," I go right. I know where I've kept one for the last ten years. So it's you're going to come to me, right? Mm. You've gone knock knock. I've opened the door. My beautiful supermodel wife is mm. there. She's going on, oh, his kidneys are brilliant now. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. It's great. He never stops having the sex. Yeah. She's making her iced teas. Right. You know, she says, come in, Rick. Yeah. Sit down. Mm. So good. She says, I love you. Thank you so much. That's right. Don't this worry It's a lovely it. man. I know you've not got long to live because you're old yeah. and fat. Yeah. You've had a good innings. Well, you've had a good ten years, though, haven't you, with this kidney? And that was a, you know, but, but uh, I, I tell you what, love this man. You can return the And favor. he's so young and we've Give got- Give me back my fucking kidney. We've got two beautiful children. Right, I tell you what. Give me my kidney back and have one of theirs. Two beautiful kids. Yeah. Who's small there little kidneys. Small little kidneys and There's no good more yet. to choose from. They're growing you. They're small growing you. It's kidneys. like when you put a little plant in a big pot. They grow. You're, they're, they're catch up. They're, the kidneys are growing too. Two, so two I'll have my small. kidneys back and you've got four to choose from there. Well, take one of each and you'll have two little kidneys to make one big kidney. Johnson, can you have this man removed from my house? <laughs> Would you give anyone a kidney, Carl? Suzanne. I'm sure you would give Suzanne tricky, a kidney. Tricky, well, you yeah. obviously you'd give Suzanne a kidney, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, well, would you or are you just saying that? I suppose I would. I don't really like the idea of it. So if what you're saying what are you saying to Suzanne right now if she's listening to this podcast? Carl, good luck. Um bit of good luck. I you know I need a kidney. And oh. it's got quite rare. Mm. Well, we've got the same sort of blood group and everything, so uh Yeah, you've got two. I got none. Bibbidi bob, one each. Let's have a good life. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you'll have to uh, have to have it. Which one are you thinking of going for? Because the, uh, I think the right one's a bit dodgy because they had the kidney stones. Well, you keep that. Do you want I'll that have, one? I'll have the left one. No, I'll, I'll tell you what. You have that one because when I was in all the pain, you were going. It can't be that bad. 
So you have it. Mm. It's in good working order. They've looked at it. Yeah. But it is prone to stones. <laughs> that, that he's using this to get back at her. <laughs> saying it can't be that bad. It's like poetic justice. He can give her the kidney she didn't believe was that painful. So let her have that. And um, I don't know what's life like with one kidney. So you've got to be more careful. You've got di- you know, specific diets. Yeah, it is more dangerous. It's more of a strain on it, but you know, don't like talking about it. It's all uh, it freaks me out. It freaks me out. It's all doing stuff now. The kidneys doing stuff. Yeah, my teeth are hurting still. Still got a little bit of toothache going on there. Mm. I've got a sweat on. All stuff's going on without me knowing. Germs within round. I've had jabs for rabies. I've had hepatitis A and B. I don't even know what that does. <laughs> I've had A and I've had B. That's whizzing round my body. Body's in shock, isn't it, at the moment? It doesn't know what's going on. I've had... Uh, How is it notifying you of the shock? Well, I think, I, I, like I say, I keep getting this sweat. And uh, what else have I had? Typhoid. <sighs> doesn't that, shouldn't, All this stuff shouldn't be in my body, should it? And we don't really know, do we? They're saying, yeah, have this, have that, shove it in your arm, it's all right. But we don't really know. Long-term effect. I've got rabies in me. I never thought I'd have to have that. Tetanus. I've had. TB. Well, enjoy the World Cup, everyone. Come on, England. Come on, boys. I'd, um, think I've had them all. One for it, if I get bit by a dirty monkey. 